Hello everybody. This might appear like a six cylinder gardener. Six L X, six L X B, six L W. But it's not. This is something really quite special. This is a horizontal, this is a horizontal engine. This is a horizontal gardener. It's exactly a six H L W, H L W, horizontal L W engine. They were designed to go low down underneath the body of buses. This particular one is going to get into a Bristol bus, a vintage Bristol bus. Um, so this is the orientation of the engine when it's in the bus. This is the way it lies. Now. We haven't actually done one of these horizontal engines, not one like this in the past. So we're having super fun dismantling it. Um, they were occasionally used in boats. Horizontal engines were used in boats. I remember quite distinctly some years ago uh, encountering a 5L, a 5HLW in uh, a barge down in Dublin. Um, the reason for that in that instance was because there was a very low ceiling in the engine room and a horizontal engine suited that very well. Very often um, there's a problem with the height of vertical Gardner engines because of the long stroke. So as you can imagine we've got quite a bit of work in front of us. Um, so that's just one view of the engine. We will press on now and wind the clock back a bit and show you how we we got to this stage this shows the engine uh, just after we'd unpacked it you can see the substantial mounts there you can see the extraordinary sump here um, it really is quite different from a vertical engine um, that pla black plastic wrapper there uh, is where the original oil filler was and we're going to have to find one of those because it's missing from this engine You'll see the bracketry there for the alternator as much as before. Again, more evidence of mounts. You'll see there, um, again, more evidence of mounts, evidence of the oil cooling ribs on the sump. Um, that's a bracket for lifting the engine. And again, uh, semi-flexible mounts there at the front. Fuel filter is much the same. Um, the injector pump you'll see has the horizontal type air vessels on it, which reflects the fact that this is a relatively modern gardener design here. You'll notice the uh, the cover towards the back of the injector pump is also of the modern type. Now the question to be asked is here is how does the oil not leak out from the bottom of the in the um, the rocker covers there? We'll be having a look at that shortly. The lift pump, more or less the same. Uh, the bar for the advanced and retard control is um, a lot lighter than, oh dear, the heads. Well, this engine hasn't been seeing any work in quite some time. And it was also obviously stored um, outdoors. Um, but not to worry. We've been here so many times before. We'll sort that all out with new components. And it'll not be a problem. Here we can see the answer to the mystery of how the oil get away from the heads. Um, there are holes there, much like the holes in the head for the water in a vertical engine. Um, oil flows down through those holes into that alloy pipe that you can see there. Um, and then eventually down through long pipes underneath the engine and back into the sump. It all seems a bit um, inelegant but in fact it works quite well oh dear the <clears throat> flange on the auxiliary drive is cracked but again we'll not worry very much about this because my plan is to fit our new modern drive on there and a modern high output alternator so we'll not be concerned with that crack at all it's hard to know exactly what this plate is telling us um, obviously the shaft has been looked at at some stage. Um, 
maybe we can conclude that it was last looked at on the 31st of January 1975. I'm not too sure. But anyway, whenever we look at the shaft itself, well, we found it was really in really quite good condition and the shells were, were very healthy. Here's our biggest problem. The end plate is broken and you will see in a subsequent slide um, how that may have happened. Um, I'm not too sure what approach we're going to take here. Uh, we may just simply have to have find a replacement. Or the bell housing bolts on here and there's actually no oil at this point. So we may be able to fabricate something. We'll work out something. The flywheel. Um, Strider rings in, in good condition. Perfectly serviceable. But there's um, a couple of peculiarities about this flywheel. First of all, the starter ring is a bigger diameter than the flywheel itself. But it's smaller than a conventional, say, 6LXB or 6LW flywheel. A 6LW flywheel is normally about 565 across the ring gear. And this one here is only 495. Presumably, again, this was because it's a horizontal engine and in order to save vertical space within the engine bay, they made the decision to have a smaller flywheel. Again, shouldn't be an issue. Now, this is very interesting. This is an oil tray that was positioned underneath the injector pump. Uh, presumably, the function of this is to catch any diesel spillage there or oil spillage. But the frustrating thing about it is that it has to come out before you can get the injector pump off. Unless you slide that out, it's just not possible to get spanners in there to do the nuts that clamp the injector pump in, in place. This is the trigger box. It's actually broken, but that's not a problem because it's a standard size. We can rob one from a, a, a 6LW or whatever. Um, the brass plate gives us the usual data um, and it's given us an engine number there of 157, sorry, 162019. Uh, but the engine number is 157359 as reflected on the crankcase. So again, this is encouraging news because it means that the injector pump has been done up at some stage. This is a funny thing here. It's in the same position as the oil feed return on a 6LW engine, uh, but it's been blanked off. It could possibly be uh, the return feed from a compressor or something like that, and it's just not in use on this engine. Again, I hope you got something out of that. Um, you'll have to be patient with us here. Uh, we have a lot of work to do on this engine, so this is going to be a multi-part series of videos so hang on in there until we get to the next one thanks very much